Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. You as well, brother. We're so blessed to come to be back today. And uh, I believe the Lord has good things for us again. And before I can read to you the word of God, I'd like my wife to just say something in my language. Something, something, just something, just a little something. Molikwanji. How are you? How are you, ma'am? Sister. Thank you. Turn with me to the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter number 12. Verses 1. Through Would you like to use mine, brother? You want no, to use my Bible? No, you just want to listen to him? Yeah, just okay. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. I like verse number two. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye all unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls every man according to his eating shall make your your count for the lamb your lamb shall be without blemish a male of the first year ye shall take it out of, out from the sheep or from the gods and ye shall keep it up until the fourth, 14th day of the same month and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in that night roast with fire and then live in bread and with bitter herbs they shall eat. And uh, verse number 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I'll pass over you. Amen. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Tonight, I would like to talk about power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 How many of you know there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Somebody Amen. say, repeat it. There is power, there is power in, in the, the blood, blood of, of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Repeat it. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There's power in the blood of Jesus. Again, there is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is power in the blood. If I talk about the blood of Jesus, I want to take you back to the Old Testament. When God caused a great exodus to his people who had been enslaved in Egypt for 400 years. I remember a long time ago, I read from the book of Genesis when God befriended Abraham. Before he even became Abraham. God told him he was going to bless him with children, numberless children, like sun on the seashore and like stars in the sky. Yes. And God told him what was be going to be for those children. In Genesis chapter 15. He said at one point they'll be enslaved in a foreign land. But I, the Lord, will go and deliver them. Right. I'll take them out of captivity. Amen. Amen. At least Abraham knew where he was going. Yeah. He knew what was going to happen to his children. Amen. And that they were going to be in bondage. But there was, bondage was not the end. God was going to deliver them 
from the house of bondage. Amen. Amen. And it so happened Israel sojourned into the land when Joseph was a prime minister in the land. The family followed. After he died, slavery started for the children of God. And they were heavily enslaved. At one point, Pharaoh ordered his authorities to start killing the male babies just to make sure Israel didn't, didn't go anywhere. Just to make sure Israel was intimidated. And God was looking into all those, those things. And then time came for God to deliver Israel. He looked for a man by the name Moses and sent him to Egypt. He said, you need to, you've got to go to Egypt and deliver my people so they can come out of bondage to come and worship me. And Moses was a little bit adamant in the beginning. He said, Lord, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a stammerer. There's no way I can speak right to Pharaoh. And, and after that long conversation with God, God equipped him with signs and wonders. He said, what do you have in your hands? He said, I, I have nothing other than the rod, a staff. He said, throw it down. He threw it to the ground and it turned into a serpent. He ran away from his own rod. And God said, go back and hold it by the tail. With trembling hands, he touched it. It became staff again. And God said, this is what you show Pharaoh. You're not going alone. You're going with my power. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And then Moses argued a little further, and God said, take your hand and put it into your bosom. Right. When he put it there and said, bring it out, it was leprous. Yeah. And then God, Moses was afraid. God said, put it back, and it became normal. Yeah. He said, so Moses, at least you know, you're not going in your own power. Amen. You're going in my power. Amen. You're going in my name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Long story short, Moses went to Egypt. I just want you to understand how much man matters to God. How much value each one of us has in the sight of God. Amen. God holds you in very high esteem. Yes. You are preciously precious. Yes. You are very important to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. When he looks at you, Amen. he sees Thank himself you. in you. Yes. That's Amen. why he will spare no expense for the salvation of man. Amen. Amen. And so Moses went to Egypt and knocked on Pharaoh's door and said, Thus says the Lord, let my people go. Yes. Yes. Pharaoh said, who is that God that I should even obey him to let these slaves go? Who is going to save us? Mm. Moses said, but that's what the Lord sent me to you. The I am sent me to you. Yes. Let his people go. Yes. And Pharaoh said, I will not. Then Moses started performing those miracles. Mm -hmm. He worked the miracle of a snake. It was the way I, I can visualize it in my mind. It must have been a very big snake. Yes. Yeah. With big eyes. <laughs> Pharaoh said, this is not a problem. I've got my own magicians who can do this. Yeah. And he called on his magicians. They performed that miracle. Yeah. They performed snakes, but they were little snakes. Yes. Yes. They were not like the snake the Lord has sent Moses with. Yes. Right. Amen. 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 And I'm sure God's snake was very hungry that morning. It swallowed every snake yes. for breakfast. Yes. Amen. And Pharaoh still said no to letting those people go. And Moses went back to God. And God instructed him to do another miracle. He did miracle after miracle after miracle. Sometimes Pharaoh would say, let them go. And before they went, he said, I've changed my mind. And that upset Moses. He began to lose patience with God. He said, you sent me to go deliver them. But each time I did something, I mean a miracle, Pharaoh said, okay, let, let them go. But before they went, he changed his mind. Oh God, are you really going to deliver these people? God said, it 
it was not Pharaoh, it was me that hardened his heart. Yes. So I can show him my power. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was me that hardened his heart. Yes. So I could show my power, my delivering power. I want Rochester to know yes. delivering power belongs to our God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Freedom belongs to our God. Amen. Deliverance belongs to our God. Amen. Salvation, peace, and joy belongs to our belong to our God. Amen. God said I had in his heart. And then it was plague after plague after plague until Moses became really impatient with God. And this brings me to my point. God said, Moses. Listen to me. Now I'm going to do one more thing which Pharaoh and his government will not resist. This one more plague will open a wide door for wholesale exodus of my people. Not one person will remain behind. The move I'm going to take now is going to let everyone that belongs to me, the Lord God, to leave. Amen. Everybody will go. Yes. And God said, this is what you're going to do. He gave Moses instructions. He said, announce to all the elders, the leaders of the houses of Israel. Gather them together. Announce to them my counsel. That they all look for a lamb. Perfect and blameless. Yes. Either from the goats or from the sheep. They look for the blameless male lamb without blemish and they keep it up until the 14th day of this month. And on the 14th day, every house will have to slaughter this lamb. Yeah. And when they slaughter, if the house be too small, let them join to, together with the next door, with the neighbor, children of Israel. And when they slaughter that lamb, they'll take of the blood into a vessel and take the blood and apply it on the door lintels, yeah. on the door posts. Apply the blood. Yes. I'm sure Moses said, Oh God, what is that gonna do to us? We'll just stain our doors. We will just deaden our doors. What would that do to us? Yes. God said there's secret power yes. in the application yes. of the blood on your doors. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And that was between God and his covenant children. Amen. His covenant people. Amen. No one of Egypt would have believed in that. No one was taught to do that. God said you apply the blood. Yes. And that I'm going to pass over you when I see the blood. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 And every house that doesn't have the blood, I'm going to kill the firstborn son from the house of Pharaoh to the smallest. The firstborn shall be killed. Yes. But every house of my children with the blood on their doors will be spared. Yes. And Moses said, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And he announced to the children of Israel that believed him to be a man that heard from God. They took that word from God yes. and looked for the perfect lamb and kept it until the 14th day. And on that day, every house of Israel slaughtered the lamb. And they took of the blood, believing in what God said, and applied on their doors and entered their houses, locked up their doors. And at midnight, the Bible says, the angel of death came. And when he came to every door, all he was looking for was the blood. And when he saw the blood, he pronounced peace on the house. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, when he saw the blood, he said, sweet dreams. God bless you. No harm comes your way. Amen. Amen. And I, I, if I were there, if I were there, I was also going to apply the blood and be safe. And then passed over them. And when he went to the next house and there was no blood, he 
through a sword without opening the door he was already inside and chopped off the head of the firstborn from the house of Pharaoh to the smallest now I want you to understand that everything that happened in the Old Testament was a picture or a shadow of real things that were coming in the New Testament the, the lamb of the Old Testament that God told Moses to have every house to slaughter was a picture of Jesus Christ amen hallelujah when Jesus came John said behold the lamb, the lamb of, God of God who takes away the, the sin, sin of the world, of the world. Amen. amen hallelujah 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 behold the lamb of God he was foreshadowed in the Old Testament amen and the reality came in the New Testament amen hallelujah and the blood that applied on their doors was blood of the gods blood of the sheep yes. that was just a shadow of the true and living blood of Jesus Christ amen which was hallelujah at Calvary amen thank are you, you listening Jesus. to me thank you Jesus and in the entirety of the word of God as I've started the word again and again there's no place where you find any other blood called precious blood yes hallelujah except hallelujah. in the new testament where Peter said for we have been bought we have been purchased by the precious hallelujah. blood as of a lamb without blemish amen Are you hallelujah. Me? hallelujah we have been purchased right now as you're looking at me as you're seated over there some of you are in your cars i want to tell you you are Hallelujah. You have been bought yes, by Lord. the blood, the most precious blood Amen. of the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. King Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When I buy something, pay my own money, that thing does not belong to you. It belongs to the owner. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. I bought these shoes for money. They are not your shoes. They are mine. <laughs> Hallelujah. When, when, when Jesus, when God bought us, paid the price to buy you with the blood of his son, Jesus Christ, you don't Hallelujah. belong to the devil. You don't belong to the demons. Amen. You Hallelujah. Don't belong to Amen. You don't Hallelujah. Belong to the yes. You Hallelujah. Yes, glory to God. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. As I preach to you right now, I'm speaking the blood of Jesus over the ground of Rochester. Amen. Hallelujah. Over us. Salvation. 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 Hallelujah. The Bible. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is why, no matter what you've been doing in your life, God has not left you alone. Amen. He has been following you. Even if some of you cursed God, some of you said, I will never go to church. Some of you had the preaching of the gospel. Amen. But yes. God yes. never gave up on you. Yes. He still Hallelujah. loved you. Thank you, Jesus. He still followed you. Yes, Lord. When everybody else died, God kept you alive. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, he Lord. He wanted you here, this preacher from Africa. There is power to save your life in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. There's power in the blood. Power in the blood. Wonder working power. Now, yes. Demons are being upset. Yes. As I speak it now, you may not see it with your eyes. That blood is in the spirit. Yes. It's as alive today. Hallelujah. As it was 2,000 years ago. Yes, Lord. There is power today. There's power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wonder working power. Thank you, Lord. And God Thank wants you. you. Take that blood 
by faith. Yes. Apply to the doorposts yes. of your heart. Yes. Of your life. Yes. The blood Lord. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Has the power to cleanse yes, us yes. from all sin. From all sin. Hallelujah. All 